What if I told you there was an always-on, carbon-free, renewable power source deep beneath our feet? That's exactly what makes geothermal energy fascinating, even if it only saves your electricity bills by as much as a dollar a month. Uh, you can also use it for heating greenhouses, and especially if you've got a cold climate, again like in Iceland, so, how does geothermal energy geothermalize, and where would it be applied? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World! Welcome back to our channel, before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Yeah, if you look at wind and solar, which are very uh, becoming really common now, um, these tend to be intermittent. The world is burning, and we need a renewable energy revolution. But solar energy is only a viable option in places that get a lot of, you guessed it, sunshine. And wind speeds are only sufficient to power turbines in certain areas around the world. In contrast, Geothermal power plants can provide clean, carbon-free energy in a reliable and predictable way. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Geothermal is more of a baseload technology, like you can turn it on and leave it on. Whereas solar plants will only produce energy for approximately 2,000 hours per year, a geothermal power plant will produce energy for approximately 8,600 hours per year which is almost five times more energy. But where exactly does geothermal energy come from? Well, it's not anything new. It's not new technology, that is. It was first used in Italy in 1904 for cooking and heating. What is geothermal energy? It's predominantly the heat from the core of the Earth radiating out and coming to the surface. It's simply power derived from the Earth's internal heat. It can scorch at a whopping 10,800 degrees Fahrenheit, or around 6,000 degrees Celsius for the rest of the world, and almost as hot as the surface of the sun. Almost, not quite though. But Car World Narrator, how does it work? Please tell us. Okay, I'll tell you. Geothermal energy works a little like a refrigerator, but in reverse. It's like they're taking the cold air in and then making it into hot air. So prior to building the homes, workers drilled holes in the ground and ran pipes down into them and back out. The homes themselves contain geothermal heat pumps powered by solar generated electricity to circulate water through these pipes. In the winter, when the temperature below ground is warmer than the surface temperature, the pumps pull up heat from underground and warm the air in the home. The opposite happens in the summer. Heat from the warm air is sunk into the water and then pumped underground to cool it. The cooler water is then brought up to lower the temperature in the house. A planned community in Austin, Texas harnessed the power of geothermal energy to slash homeowners' energy costs and carbon emissions. Now, for an average-sized home, which is about 2,000 square feet, a geothermal system will easily cost $30,000 to have installed, but experts state that you'll notice a 30-70% to 70 reduction in your annual utility bill when running a geothermal heating system, and 20-50% to 50 when operating a geothermal cooling system. Moreover, it was observed that a pump with a de-superheater system could reduce water heating costs by 50%. Even better, hot water becomes free during the summer season. This benefit is all thanks to the fact that the system will utilize the heat removed from your home. A 1500 watt heater costs around 20 cents per hour to run on high. This adds up to a cost of $1.60 for 8 hours a day and $48 per month. For comparison, in addition to the geothermal heat pumps, all of the homes in Whisper Valley have solar panels. When combined with solar power, electricity bills could drop to as low as $1 per month which is 48 times cheaper than fossil fuel heat pumps. A local said, Our water temperature coming into the homes was 60 degrees or above when the temperature outside was 9 degrees, so our heat pumps had no problem at all. 
Geothermal energy reduces energy costs while still being environmentally friendly and sustainable, but it's not without its drawbacks. So, what's the downside? No geothermal system is cheap to install, and because it offers only a reduction in consumption, the return on investment is really only viable for larger buildings. The costs of a geothermal plant are heavily weighted toward early expenses, rather than fuel to keep them running. Well drilling and pipeline construction occur first, followed by resource analysis of the drilling information. Next is the design of the actual plant. The initial cost for the field and power plant is around $2,500 per installed kilowatt in the US. Operating and maintenance costs range from one cent to three cents per kilowatt hour. However, with relatively high inflation costs, you can be assured of the durability of the system. Speaking of which, how long can it last? On average, conventional furnaces last anywhere between 15 to 20 years while central air conditioners last 10 to 15 years. In contrast, geothermal heat pumps typically last 20 to 25 years, and the ground loops installed into the yard can last more than 50 years. Even up to 100 years if you... In fact, geothermal equipment is protected both indoors and deep in the ground. As a result, geothermal systems aren't subject to wind or weather and have even been called stormproof. No fires! Within the unit, there is no flame-related wear and tear and more moderate temperatures within the equipment, protecting it from internal extremes. Now, the idea behind how it works may be cool and all, but the practicality of it, that's what we really want. So, has it been widely used? Well, if you count the fact that it's being used in over 20 countries, with the United States being the largest producer of geothermal power in the world, about 100,000 geothermal cooling and heat pumps are installed in the U.S. each year. Some U.S. cities pipe geothermal hot water under roads and sidewalks to melt snow. Known as the geysers in California, the field is spread over 117 square kilometers and consists of 22 power plants, with an installed capacity of over 1.5 gigawatts. The energy source is also prevalent in Iceland, where it has been used since 1907. Defining itself as a pioneer of geothermal power, the country produces 25% of its energy from five geothermal power plants. This is due to the 600 hot springs and 200 volcanoes in the country. How do you feel about the future of geothermal energy? Are you planning to install it for your home? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and for all of your support of our channel, of course. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, thank you. Thank you so much. And we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.